Today, we will discuss a topic that affects us all, food safety. Have you ever wondered what causes foodborne illness, how it happens, and what you can do to protect yourself? Well, you're in luck because we will cover all of those topics so you know how to protect yourself and others. To start, what exactly is foodborne illness? Put simply, it's an infection or irritation of the digestive system caused by consuming contaminated food or beverages. These can be home-cooked meals, restaurant dishes, or even packaged goods. Some common agents that cause foodborne illnesses include bacteria such as Salmonella and E. coli, viruses such as norovirus, parasites like Giardia, and toxins produced by certain molds or bacteria. While anyone is susceptible to foodborne illnesses, certain people are at more risk than others, including pregnant people, young children, senior citizens, and people with weakened immune systems. Because no one is safe from foodborne illnesses, it's essential to understand the types of food prone to contamination. Common foods include raw or undercooked meat, poultry, eggs, and unpasteurized dairy products. However, raw vegetables, fruits, and deli-type salads can also become contaminated at home and in stores. When contaminants are found in food from stores, a food recall will occur, and all contaminated food will be removed. To stay updated on food recalls, visit foodsafety.gov. Cross-contamination between raw and cooked foods is another major concern, so it's crucial to understand how to handle raw foods safely. One essential practice for overall health is washing your hands for at least 20 seconds before and after handling food. Make sure kitchen surfaces, utensils, and cutty boards are kept clean. Store raw meat, poultry, and seafood away from ready-to-eat foods in the refrigerator. Checking food temperatures using a food thermometer is another great way to ensure food safety. In addition to at-home food safety practices, the government has established regulations to reduce the risk of contamination from foodborne illnesses. Rigorous regulations are in place to ensure the safety of the food supply chain. From farm to table, the government sets standards for production, transportation, and handling to reduce the chances of contamination. A great example was the introduction of the FDA Food Modernization Act of 2011, which required producers to undertake preventative measures for food safety and set safety standards for growing, harvesting, and packing produce. All in all, food safety is a shared responsibility. By staying informed, following good hygiene practices, and supporting food safety regulations, we can all contribute to a healthier and safer food environment.